Today, we're going to talk about levels of measurement. This is a build up from understanding the types of variables. So if you understand the types of variables, then you can be able to understand the levels of measurement. Because remember, your types of variables are just characteristics that describes your population or your sample. Now, when you collect those kind of variable, there are observations that you pick up from there. And the type of the observations that you are picking up, they've got measurement levels or scales of measurement. And that's what we're going to be discussing today. So there are four types of measurement levels. There is nominal, and there is ordinal. Nominal and ordinal, they are both for qualitative data. Qualitative variables. They both from qualitative variables. Then you also have your interval and ratio and interval and ratio both from quantitative variable quantitative variable so what are nominal variables nominal variables are variables that you can put into categories because they are from categorical data but there is no order of things so there's no levels it's just categories for example today's example we're going to be looking at retail so we're going to use retail space as our example so understanding our customers who come into our stores to buy clothes we can look at their gender gender as in male or female has no levels doesn't male is not superior to female female is not higher than male in natural way of doing things male and female are just categories to classify a gender specification of a person or for example a race where we have indian colored white black those are just categories they do not have any rank or order to them okay the other measurement level is ordinal ordinal is also from categorical data or what we call qualitative data so it means it's categorical data that we can put into categories and there is an order or rank to the levels like when you go the customer comes and want to buy shoes there are different types of shoes or levels of shoes that the customer can buy a size four size five and a half size six size seven size eight they goes from lowest to highest level or if in your retail store you run a survey to find out how your customer service was like then you're going to ask questions to say rate my services from lowest to highest or from being good bad or neutral there is a order for example you start with very good good not sure bad very bad those are levels because they rank from being at a higher level to being at a lower level that is ordinal data interval data is from your quantitative data so it means it's numerical data it's data that you can count or you can measure remember that with interval data it's a 
an ordinal scale because you can start from zero to one or from minus one so there is an order of number array of numbers where you are able to calculate the difference between the numbers but there is no true meaning of a zero zero is just another number for example temperature let's say in your retail store customers comes in and they complain that it is freezing in your shop you can go and check the thermometer of your temperature to see if the room temperature is at a level where it's acceptable by your customer sometimes the temperature level can go up or can go as low as a minus degree for example also when it's very cold people might come in to go, come and buy hand gloves scarves and head so you need to always be mindful of the kind of weather and temperature so that you can have enough stock if you know that your temperatures in the region that you're selling your clothes in they always go to the lowest region of minus degree so you need to have very big jacket that could accommodate those kind of temperature so a temperature can go into minus degrees or you can go to a 26 degrees therefore it means a zero temperature is just another temperature for example the other one is the bank balance or not actually even the bank balance the amount owed by your customers if the amount owed goes into the negative it means into areas then it goes into negative and that is what we call interval data a ratio is an alternative to the interval a ratio also you are able to calculate the difference between the two because it's a numerical data but there is a true meaning of zero meaning zero means something so if you sell a zero size t-shirt therefore it means there is no t-shirt in your store so it means zero means something and for ratio things like weight height age they take up a ratio because you need to know the age of the type of clothes for the type of clothes you want to sell you want to know their age range for example for new babies newborn babies uh, 0 to 12 months 12 to 13 months those have a true meaning of zero because if you sell a zero a zero kg uh, baby doll it means it doesn't exist 